Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. Just a quick reminder here, if you guys are enjoying the content and you want to support the channel, the best thing you can do is give the video a thumbs up. Right now we got the Freightliner filling up with air, so that way we can pull it to that hydrant and fill it with water. Between yesterday and today we got an inch and a half of rain, so it's pretty safe to say that we're not going to be spraying today. But that doesn't mean we can't get this ready. Hey, we got Neva's help today. Hello. Oh boy, your legs are going to be itching at the end of the day. That would make me a true farmer, wouldn't it? Uh, I guess there's only one way for her to learn. So as a lot of you guys know, for the past few weeks we've been doing a lot of farm cleanup. The really big project we just completed was this building. The dump truck has a decent load on it, but we can get more. My main focus right now is to get the farm side of things cleaned up. We got a lot of scrap metal over there, so we'll do our best to get the old dump truck stuck. This way we'll have a nice full load when we take the dump truck into the scrapyard. Oh, before I move the dump truck, we should probably use the old magnet to pick up some screws. No one likes flat tires. You excited to clean today, Neva? Always. We have a long cleanup road ahead of us, but we're getting closer to the end. <laughs> Neva's really good help. Ooh, it's hot in here. It's hot out here too. Hey, Neva's even got her boots on. Good job, babe. Vamanos. A little cold blooded. I'm not too excited about helping today. It's kind of hot, but I am excited about this being one step closer to being done completely. So let's go. I kind of regret not riding with Cole. I walked back here and walked into a big pile of rotten who knows what. And now my boots reek. <laughs> Rotten beans. Gotta love them. Not cool. They stink super bad. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Quit laughing at me. I'll put it on you. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, that is the worst smell ever. Ew, ew, ew. Just walk off in the grass. I smell like literal dog poo. What you're smelling is rancid cat poop because rotten soybeans and cat poop are the same thing. Looks like he's smoothing out the grass. Ah, oh, guys, it's crushed my sunglasses. I just pulled the skid loader out of the shed and I'm going across the driveway. And next thing you know, I feel something shoot up my back, crawl into my hair. A mouse crawled up the seat, climbed my shirt, and this is going up in my hair. And I had no idea what it was. So I just instinctively am like trying to throw the thing off of me. I have no idea where he went, but. I knocked my sunglasses off in the process. He's over here worried about his sunglasses and there's a mouse on him. You're kidding, Cole, right? You're kidding. It was terrifying. Let me clarify here. Mice don't bother me, but when they're crawling on me and I have no idea he's there, not cool, dude. Where is it? He's in there somewhere. I'm not getting in there until you find it. That's yucky. So our next little project is to get this cleaned up. And then there's a little bit in that aluminum box and then just some small stuff on the ground over here. And then we're getting really close to getting this farm side cleaned up. Really close. Now the flies think I'm their best friend. I wonder why. This poopy boots. No. All right, babe. I'll watch you throw stuff in here from here. All right, sounds good. Change of plans. We're just gonna back the old dump truck right where we are so we can just throw everything from in there onto the dump truck. Thinking harder, not smarter. Um, Cole, you forgot me in this scrap metal. You just left me. It's not nice. Close. Smells like rotten beans down here. Well, I wonder why. Not that, is it? This is gonna be a little bit of a process here because everything's kind of intertwined in this pile. So you gotta kind of pull one piece off at a time. Almost like a puzzle, a dangerous puzzle. I just came over and I see Neva here and I was just talking to Cole, but when I got over here, Neva and Cole are cleaning up out back, but I walked by the house and I smelled this. Man, what is this smell? It smells like rotten. And then I see Neva's little boots there. So if you're ever following Neva, you watch where she steps. If she steps in rotten beans, you walk around her. She's got her little rubber boots on now, so it's good to go. You guys are making the place look really nice, Navy. You guys have been busy. They've been loading up junk in the old dump truck back here. Neat to see them working as a team. Oh yeah, Neva, I missed you the other day in the cemetery. It was me and Cole, and it just wasn't the same. Looks like Cole is gonna try to load some stuff up on a wagon here. You that have never smelt rotten beans when they're wet, if you get them on your hands and you wash your hands for like two weeks, you might be rubbing your nose and you're like, oh. It just, it, it absolutely reeks. We're making 
making progress. Neva's gonna unload some stuff out of the skid loader bucket into the junk wagon here. She asked Cole, she goes, you sure you trust me? And he goes, yeah, I trust you. And I said, Neva, I do not trust you. So her little mind right now is all over the place, but actually I know she will do fine. I'm not worried about it. She just ran into me. It's okay, Neva, you hit me. You can just see the concentration in her mind. She's doing some heavy thinking. Things like this, it's the only way they learn. Just let them do it. Even when the kids are little, if you feel safe with them and equipment and stuff, just gotta stand back, let them run it, let them play in the yard. When the boys were little in summer, sometimes we just let them play in the yard. One time they had piles of dirt all over our yard. They went out one spot, they were making these big mounds. The neighbors across the road, I think they thought we were crazy for five hours. They were running around. My dad even said, they gotta get the feel of the machine so when you're actually doing work, the mind doesn't have to think if you get in a panicky spot, it automatically knows what to do. Hey, Neva, Hi. you did fantastic. Are you teasing me? You did great. Thank you. Oh, my phone's ringing. Don't recognize the number, and I tell you what, any more of these telemarketers, they will absolutely drive you crazy. So if I don't know the number and it don't show up with a name on it, they can leave a message. And if they don't leave a message, they weren't important. There's a reason why I don't have dad's number saved in my phone. Neva and Cole, they're gonna shut down a little early tonight. They're gonna go out with Neva's folks tonight. So I think that's really, really nice. Would you like to lead the way, Neva? Sure you want me to lead the way. I do. I just figured if Neva sinks, I'm just gonna stop and lend her a hand. And you know what I'm gonna do? I heard you, by the way. <laughs> If I go down, DC's coming down with me. I'm pulling him in. Come on, Neva, pay attention where your little boots are going. Sometimes when she's wearing her little rubber boots, she sings that song, These Boots Are Made For Walking. All right, let's hear it. Well, I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, Neva, this is a swimming pool. These are Neva's boots. You probably can't smell what I can smell right now. <laughs> We're gonna have to strap Neva back into her boots and she's just gonna have to work with them. That's the only way you're gonna get them off. <laughs> it's always fun when it happens to somebody else. One of our friends is going to come over. Cooper had some hay raked up yesterday. 15 minutes after I raked it for Cooper so he could bail. We got a big rain on it. I shouldn't say big rain, but at least two to three tenths of rain. Came down hard. Neighbor's going to come over and re-fluff it out so it can dry out good. And then Cooper can re-roll it and hopefully bail it in the next couple days. Let's go to town and get a pop. I know we've been trying to lay off pop, but I am so thirsty right now. I want a Mountain Dew or a Pepsi or something cold. Probably Mountain Dew. I'm going to show you something kind of cool hold on for a second there's like grass on the screen but anyhow i'm going to show you something really cool this thing's called a tether over here got to pay attention it actually will fluff it up and then it will dry out so probably in another oh, two days cooper can come in here he can bail it up he'll have to rake it again to get it in a nice row for his baler it just throws it all over and then it will dry out again cooper he likes to make hay and a lot of times he sells it to people that need hay. I'm gonna show you what we're talking about here. You can kind of see how this stuff is all fluffed out now after he goes through. Over here is a row that we raked up yesterday to put it in a nice row for the baler. It is so packed now from the rain. Underneath here is really, really wet. So with it all stacked up, it will not dry out. We'll probably be able to save this hay cutting. But without that machine there, this hay would probably be ruined because it would start getting moldy and rot. And like here, it's nice. Neighbors can help neighbors. If they need help, we'll gladly help them. Look how neat that machine works. I've never seen one of these run in person. This is actually my first time. These are probably one of the machines you hope you never have to use. You'd rather get the hay made before you get a rain on it. So you really don't care if it's stuck in the back corner and never comes out. But if you do need it or when you need it, you're glad you got one. Everybody wave at Derek. And just think, if we didn't have this neighbor to come over and do this, Natalie would have to be running around with a pitchfork doing this. That took him about a whole 15, I doubt even 12 minutes. I want to thank you, buddy, for oh, doing no this. Problem, no problem. I'm putting you on pressure right away here. There's no time to warm up. Yeah, nothing. Here we are. <laughs> I've never, never watched one of these run. Well, it's kind of a violent process, really. <laughs> They're kind of a lifesaver just for stuff like this, because as you can tell, it's wet. Underneath. It is. It's drenched. I'll turn the camera off. I don't want to put you on pressure, but thank you. Well, absolutely. You know, it's always good to have good neighbors. Too. Yeah. Yeah. These and guys you, have been great. You never know. Might need a favor back. Yeah. Right? And we're here for you and if not come get the stuff mama corn star just called up and we're invited over to some friends for a fire tonight so i'm gonna call it quits 
Neva's boots reek. You know what I should do? I should put them in her car and see what she thinks. Well, guys, let's call it a night. Hope you learned a lot today. Like I said, we're out here to kind of show you what goes on our farm. I know some of it's probably crazy, some of it, but we are having a blast out here. We are honored to show you what goes on. And I know even farmers, sometimes we see stuff that other farmers do. And I know for me, I see what the neighbors do sometimes. I'm like, oh, I never thought about doing that. Or you can learn from our mistakes on things that don't work on our farm. Not everything goes perfect. Talk to you guys a little later. Mm -hmm.